Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title below, we are doing a Bella Hadid non-surgical eye lift. Yes, non-surgical. I said it. Do I look a little different today? Does it look like something's stretched out? <laughs> Yeah, that's my brain being stretched out. But before we get started, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like videos like this, if you guys like me. And don't forget to press that notification bell. That way you get a reminder, notification, every time I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, first things first, I'm going to use this Lorac Pro Basic Palette, and I'm using this taupe color to add a little bit of color to the crease of my eyes. I didn't want my eyelids to look completely bare, so I did go in with this shade per the news. All right, now I got my Milani translucent powder right here, and I'm taking my mini bloody, bloody, <laughs> my mini beauty blender, and it is damp. I'm gonna take this powder and place this right under my eyes, and also dragging it outwards towards my forehead. Now doing this will help us create a lifted eye look. If you don't add the powder closer to the sides of your your eyes, it will not look as lifted as you want. So we're doing a whole lifted look, so this is definitely important key to this look. So now I am going to take my eyeliner brush right here, this mini little brush and going with black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna line up from the lower lash line with my pencil and I'm gonna drag the line on the outer corner outwards. Does that make sense? Are you guys following me? We're just gonna drag it out. Typically how you make a cat liner, this is what we're gonna do, but we're gonna bring it up higher to have that elongated elevated look and then I'm gonna draw the top line and fill in my cat liner as you can see Lorac Pro does have a ton of fallout so it's a good thing we also place that baking powder <laughs> that baking but the translucent powder underneath our eyes and now I'm gonna brush it off and you can see how it's highlighted right where our cheekbones are and giving up giving us this lifted look. Sorry guys, I can't talk today. You know, I can't really talk ever. This quarantine has me talking to myself, basically. All right, so now we are going to take our favorite cat liner or eyeliner. I have the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. And first, we are going to we uh, we are going to make a horizontal line towards our nose. So the bottom line will be more horizontal than the top line. You have to imagine that we're creating this very thin, narrow triangle toward our eye. So basically, basically, it has to look like the corner of our eyes, elongated. Just make a corner of your eye, another corner of your eye with this cat liner. You guys follow? You know, that's probably the best way I can describe it. So the bottom line is going to be more horizontal. The top line is going to be a little bit more elevated. And that's how you are going to create this little inner corner cat eye. Me ow. <laughs> I'm just so corny. I think I'm losing it, guys. I hope everybody's doing well out there. All right. And be very diligent, but be very careful when you're working with this eyeliner. You can mess up very easily. I tried to make a small one, but then I kind of messed up, so then I just got bigger and bigger. But the more bold it looks, the better. Right here, I have some fake lashes that I'm going to pop on. I am going to curl my lashes and place on some waterproof mascara. It is the Colosso Maybelline Waterproof Mascara, the one I use all the time in my other videos. And the reason why I use waterproof is because it will help keep my lashes up instead of falling because we do want, again, that lifted look. And I popped on some lashes. You don't want to go too big on these lashes because then you kind of 
I don't think you would be able to see your lift as much if you go with some crazy dramatic lashes. So I went with a mild to moderate lash. And of course, you're gonna place some mascara on your lower lash line. Oh, I'm sorry, your lower lashes. And right here, I'm going back in with the powder again and placing it on the outer perimeter to clean this area up a little bit and bring more brightness on that lifted look. And don't worry, you guys see that line right there? Don't worry, I took it off, <laughs> okay? It's a little bit smudgy, so we're just gonna clean it up. All right, to the non-surgical part of this video, what you guys have been waiting for, we are taking a strand of hair. As you can see right here, I am figuring out where, where on my face, if I lift it up, where it will lift up my face the most. So I chose right here. So it's gonna be different for everybody. Some people will have a more lifted look if you pick hair from closer to the top. But mine is right here where my temple is. And I'm just tugging around to figure out where is the best spot. Now once you do that, you're gonna take a quarter of an inch of hair, separate that, and I kept it in my mouth because it's just a little bit easier to um, let loose. And I'm going to separate my hair. This, look at this mane. This hair is crazy. We're just gonna tie it. So then I took both of the strands back, pulled it tightly close together. You have to make sure it's very, very, very tight and take two elastic bands and tie it together. Now it's gonna hurt just a bit, but you'll get used to it. It'll make your head feel tender if you're not used to it, but that is what you do and now I'm gonna take the top of the hair bring it down brush it off make it make it look like normal and voila and I'm gonna take the rest of this powder off and finish up this look I finished up the look with champagne pop as my highlight and I use the Kris Jenner lip gloss called Really? Also my Morphe lip liner in Crush. So what do you guys think? How lifted does my eye look look? Now I don't recommend wearing this all the time because eventually I feel like it'll stretch out your skin right here and you'll probably end up getting wrinkles. So this is this type of eye lift look is like a once in a while type of look. You feel me? See the more I pushed my hair back, you can see the this part lift up a little bit more. I would, I definitely would not recommend doing this all the time though. But that is all for my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks out of it. And remember to give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!